The earthquake had affected many parts of the country by the end of last week, with more than three. Two million homes almost completely destroyed. As a result, more than 370,000 people were forced to escape with the help of military and police forces. In many areas, rivers overflowed embankments, roads were severely damaged, electricity was cut off, and drinking water supply was a problem. It's raining almost all over the Philippines, and more severe flooding is possible, said Robert Padrino, weather forecaster at the National Weather Service. Find out about someone's death by now. A tree fell into the taxi. Evacuation of thousands. Over 15,000 in Marikina City alone. People were moved to makeshift camps, but their capacity was limited. Today, people who were rescued from natural disasters are at risk of contracting COVID-19. On Saturday, waves from southeast Manila broke the rocks. Fortunately, all 10 crew members were rescued from an accident near the port, and the boat was pulled to shore using a long rope. In one city, water destroyed industrial facilities and flooded streets with chemicals. The country is also located in the Pacific Ring of Fire, prone to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The earthquake was accompanied by floods. The epicenter was reported Saturday at 4.44 from the main island of Luzon at a depth of 116 kilometers. The initial impact force was 6. Minutes later, a magnitude 5, 8 earthquake shook the area. No serious damage was reported due to the water depth, but a high alert was issued to the rapid response force.
It is impossible to move along the streets. The sewage system is damaged. Dozens of cars were damaged. In a few hours, more than 300 millimeters of precipitation fell in the city. After the disaster. In some areas of the Pakistani capital, water reached the first floors of houses. The flooding in Pakistan caused by heavy rains killed at least 39 people. This is reported by the Pakistan Disaster Prevention Authority. Dozens of people died in two days because of the rampant disaster in the provinces of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Baluchistan. The authorities report massive property damage, which caused flooding of real estate and crops. Forecasters promise that the rains in Pakistan will not stop for two days. The National Disaster Management Service now has records of nearly 100 deaths across the country. Over a thousand residential buildings have been destroyed by floods and landslides. 
The army was involved in the rescue operation and dismantling the rubble. The city sewer was flooded, sewage was in the houses. By the end of the week, the cyclone would bring more rains to Karachi, meteorologists say. According to preliminary estimates, this season of bad weather could be a record for the devastating consequences for the south of Pakistan. Irina Bakova, Director General of UNESCO, has sent a group of experts on flood management to Pakistan. This was the organization's first response to the catastrophic floods that claimed more than 1,600 lives and affected 20 million more.